question 19 in the following diagram a b and c are three points on level ground a is due north of c and angle abc equals 50 degrees and angle acb equals 60 degrees calculate the bearing of question a a from b question b b from a so these are the two questions and each question carries two marks that's four marks so there's always a question on bearings so what do you need to do so we need to use the properties of parallel lines which are the north lines and also angles in a triangle those are the properties that we need to use and also we need to remember that bearings are measured clockwise from the north so clockwise means we move like this this is what it means so based on that uh, this angle x so if you say x plus 60 plus 50 this must equal to 180 so meaning x is equal to 60 plus 50 is 110 so it will be under than the 80 minus 110 the moment this to cross the equation so x is equal to 70 so i know what this value is now so now after knowing this value then you can find the bearings so let me just use a bigger space we are saying a from b so a from b what it means is i need to standard b then draw the north this is the north this north is parallel to this line these are parallel to each other now remember we found this angle to be 70 degrees so if that's the case what this tells me is because these are two parallel lines this this angle is also 70 degrees then because this is north so this angle and this angle are also equal this is 60 degrees because those are two parallel lines so if you know these things then it becomes easier so you are saying the bearing of a from b so we stand at b then we rotate clockwise until we reach the line that is going to a that's what it means a from b so you come to b then rotate clockwise until you reach the point that is going to a so what is that angle so it's this angle that we are looking for so how do i find this angle so let me call this angle to be y so this angle which is a is equal to 360 which is a complete circle minus this 70 you see this 70 degrees this one which is not making us to complete the 360 degrees so we take out that 70 so this tells me that uh, i have 290 degrees so the bearing of a from b is 290 degrees then we go to b the bearing of b from a this is opposite now it means bearing of b from a so you got a then you rotate until we reach this line which is going to be so it's that line that we're looking for so i can use a bigger space so i'm looking for this angle it's this angle that i'm looking for when I say the bearing of, of B from A. So you go to A and rotate. So now I know this angle already. So if how can I find this angle? I'll call it Z. So I know the straight line is 180 degrees. So B, so this tells me that if I have 70 plus Z must equal to 180 degrees. So meaning z is equal to 180 minus 70 degrees. So z is equal to 110 degrees. So the bearing of b from a. So if I stand at a, I face north. How many degrees should I turn in the clockwise direction to face point b? I need to turn 110 degrees. And that is what is known as the bearing. So this is 110 degrees. So this is how you answer this question to get 
the four marks so thank you for joining me please don't forget to download perfect start company you're going to find a lot of questions tens thousands of questions with detailed explanation to help you build the confidence